Welcome professors, my name is Tom Johnson and I am the Dean of Distance Education here at Grace College of Divinity. In this first video, I want to take just a few minutes to help you prepare to migrate from Moodle to Populi. So I'm going to help you just understand how to get your content ready to move. And so I would recommend that you go ahead and just for our purposes, open your uh, Moodle page and go ahead and find the course that you plan to um, move into Populi. And you can do this uh, once, once your course has been uh, opened or placed into Populi, you can go ahead and begin moving it even if it's not going to be taught for some time. So let me um, scroll back up here. Here's the one I want to want to use. Now this is a course that was taught by my friend and colleague Carlos Serrano and uh, I'll be teaching it in the coming month and um, he and I have worked together on this so I'm not going to change much of the content uh, especially in this course or in the, at this time so that you can see how simple it is to prepare to move. Now I've gone ahead and pre prepared a folder on my desktop. I've called it Pastoral and in that pastoral folder, that main folder, I've got three subfolders. And I've done this for the purpose of organizing my materials, my content, um, as I go forward. Now, to be quite honest, I do this with all of my courses, and I'm sure that you do as well, or have some form of organization uh, that you use to prepare your courses. But if not, I recommend that you take a simple, a few minutes to create a simple folder and then subfolders to organize your thoughts. Now, here's the course that we're going to be working with. And in this uh, first thing I want to do, I've already gone through and looked at all the course materials and I'm familiar with it. So what I want to do is open this essential materials, which I believe is something we all should be adding to our uh, uh, programs or our, our, our courses just for students to have this information to go back to. You'll see that in this particular essential materials folder we have research paper mechanics, we have discussion board grading rubric, uh, response paper writing mechanics rubric, uh, etc, etc, as well as the syllabus. Okay, and also we have our PowerPoints. This is all in place and that helps the student know he can find that material here at any given time and uh, keeps, our, keeps our thoughts and our content orderly and in a logical place to uh, help support our students. Now I've already copied and pasted these so I'm just going to open my administration file just for a moment let you see what's there and then we'll be able to go to um, Populi in the next video to, to go forward. Simply, uh, what I simply did is I opened each of these uh, each of these files and then copied the content onto a document, moved that document, saved that document into the administration file. And you can put whatever uh, documents that you feel are necessary in your administration file or in your lesson content or um, AV, etc. Now let me just show you what else I, I have created. Now I've got writing assignments and in this case I also copied all the forum materials. They're already created. We've spent time creating them. They have a proven track record so I don't want to have to retype that material. So I've saved each one to a document and then placed those documents into a forum file. That's going to save me time later. The same is true with writing, uh, writing assignments. I've gone ahead and, and taken each assignment, copied the instructions, in preparation for my students when I'm adding this to Populi. And again, I don't want to be redundant, I'm sure, or oversimplifying, I'm sure that you do something very similar to this, so I'm not, I'm not taking very much time to show you how. Now, I've also created a file for audiovisual, because whenever you have a video that you want to include in your um, uh, course, you must have the video um, address is available. So that's been moved as well into the document. You can see that and I'll be able to show you later how to copy that into your Populi content. All right. So that's just about everything you need in moving your material, your content from Moodle to Populi. You may have other um, other course 
content, material, uh, elements that you want to move, and um, certainly you can do that just as I have simply by copy and paste. And uh, if you have, for example, you've already set your classroom instruction up, you have your outlines in place, uh, you can take all of that from right there. One other issue I'll quickly point out, and that is uh, in the admin, admin file, I've included a copy of the syllabus which I have updated. You'll need to update your syllabus before uh, you go into Populate because we'll be building off the syllabus. That's the primary tool for building your course. And so make sure that you have that set up just the way you want. Also make sure you have all your grading schedules in place, your class breakdown as well. And here's another very important feature. Make sure that you've got your books the required textbooks, and I recommend that you check the title and the um, ISBN number. Remember that, that books can be replaced. Uh, you may have uh, uh, edition three or four or five, and if you just place the put the uh, title of the book in, in the uh, course, then you risk your students buying the wrong copy, and then you have a problem later on. So make sure that you include your ISBN numbers. I have not done that here, but I will do that in the Populi course itself. And uh, so that concludes this particular uh, course, this particular exp experience. I uh, appreciate you joining me, and I hope it's been helpful. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.